how did you get in here? I could have sworn I locked the door. Can I help you with something? Are you lost? Oh, you like the last story I told you? Well, aren't you a little spoiled? I think I can think of another one for you. <laughs> Let's begin. Here's a fun little fact. Did you know modern playing cards are filled with layers of meaning and symbology that can be traced back centuries? The Four Kings, for example, are based off of real rulers. The King of Diamonds represents the wealthy Julius Caesar. The King of Clubs is the brutal Alexander the Great. Spades represents the strong but kind David of Israel, and Hearts represents the mm, emotionally disturbed, shall we say, Charles VII of France. It is this king that we will be dealing with today. It should also be noted that Charles was the only one of the four who actually was there to see the day that his face was printed on a playing card. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Charles Visage was put on the King of Hearts at the very beginning of his rule, but he never really got a chance to come into contact with playing cards until many years later when he became very ill with a fever and was informed that he would be bedridden for the rest of his life. How sad. Charles began learning card games to pass the time, such as an early version of Blackjack, 21. Charles lay in his bed for two years, constantly fiddling with the cards and always getting weaker. As time continued to pass, there were reports that Charles had begun obsessing over the idea that the king, being the 13th card in a suit, was causing him bad luck. He talked about how he was starting to see the number pop up everywhere, and that he was close to figuring out its secret. Of course, his ramblings were blamed on the fever, and by the end of the second year, he had been declared insane, and his son, Louis XII, took over the throne. One day, several months after the end of his reign, one of Charles' physicians went to his chambers to find the frail old man standing in the middle of the room, wielding a large sword. Before the doctor could react, the king said, Sorry, side note. If any of you lovely, lovely stalkers could do me a favor and help translate this, that would be great. I would love to use a recording of a lovely gal, boy, or non-binary and put it on this video or next video, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say <laughs> is when it comes to French, Mandarin, such beautiful but complex languages, I don't know how to speak it, unfortunately. Spanish, I'm covered. English, I'm covered but all the other beautiful languages I'm not so covered. So I present you with a couple of options. A, I could use one of your lovely stalkers voice note or voice clip and insert into a future video when it comes to different languages. Or B, I could just butcher it so we can all have a lovely laugh. Which one would it be? comment in the comment section but for now i'm gonna improvise my apologies now back to the story ils m'ont montré la vérité de 13 et il n'est pas signifié pour les yeux mortels they showed me the truth of 13 and it is not meant for mortal eyes without hesitation the king proceeded to ram the blade and through the left side of his head between the ear and temple until it came out the other side he wavered a moment before collapsing to the floor dead. After the incident was announced and it was public that the king had gone mad, the image of Charles on the King of Hearts was alerted to show himself, offing himself. Although the picture is not shown significantly less graphically, the image of Charles thrusting the sword into his skull 
can still be found on modern day playing cards. Perhaps the strangest part of the whole story, however, is the day that Charles chose to kill himself. 7 06 1462. Whether or not it was intentional of the king, the facts that 6 plus 7 equals 13, and 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 equals 13, can only be explained as coincidences. Thank you, John, for this wonderful story. I really enjoyed telling it, and I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Oh, by the way, here's your rose.